Friday night at Oracle Park in San Francisco. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants. Gerald Payton looks to push his all-time hit streak record to even greater heights. Next. So now to the plate, Gerald Payton already holding the all-time hit streak record. He continues to carve out his place in the game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar for 15 years or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy... Digging in now for San Diego. Gerald Payton, two on, two out for him here in the third. Hey there. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. While his hitting streak might be drawing most of the attention, some might not realize he's hitting for real power as well, slugging over 500 for the season. And that's the beauty of There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field sixth home run on the season for him as the Padres have stretched their lead now four to nothing. Wow another long ball in the early going of this one the second one he's allowed in just two and two thirds innings might want to warm up those showers. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the yard. So here is Gerald Payton. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. Yeah, he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And the run is in to score from third. Boy, this would look like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. That'll bring up Elliot Ramos. He's both for one thus far. The center fielder. Into the windup. Elliot. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ramos. Popped up. Groshans over to his right. But it's the third baseman who gets there to make the play. And the inning is over. Giants are down one, two, three. Need to get it going soon. It's five nothing. Next to hit, Gerald Hayden, as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. I'm so impressed with him and his ability to hit from both sides of the dish. I mean, we've all seen guys that do it, but really, they usually struggle from one side of the plate or the other. Not him, though. He's a true switch hitter who He's has out. a lot of success from either side of the box. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Pinch hitting for the Giants. Number 10. Runs up and gets this one down. Lucy Oh, and he can't come up with it. Pinch hitting for the Giants. Number 26, Louis Caribio. Last strike here for the Giants. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw to first here will be in time to record the final out, and the Padres have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. An 8 0 shutout this evening. The San Diego Padres get the win on the heels of four home runs. Ryan Weathers earns the win his second. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew.